So hello, I'm from Martin Luther University, not far from here, and I would like to introduce you into our program which we did with refugee kids. Um, there should be a picture. Okay, so when refugees come to many places, they usually do not have good education. Some countries even do not want them at schools, and also when they are coming to more richer countries like Germany, then the schools are have problems with them. So one barrier is, of course, the language barrier, uh, which they have to cross. And the other is teachers' inexperience. And especially in East Germany, where the teachers are not experienced to have foreigners in the classroom, there was also this issue. And uh, for the refugees, there is a lack of scientific methods for problem solving. We all grow up with argumentation and making arguments out of reasoning and may maybe out of exp experiments and out of education. But this does not apply for many refugees. They come from another background, another cultural background. So what we decided were, was a one-week course at schools, plus teacher courses, teacher for in-service and pre-service teachers. Um, you can see our fund, founder here, it's the Bayer Foundation. The aim is uh, that we provide a participation in a technical and scientifically influenced society, which we have here. Um, I mean, not all of our politicians believe in that, but hopefully us here. And we want to do this by an experimental way of getting solutions. So we start with the human body. The human body is very approachable for everyone. And you can see here experiments with bacteria. You can see experiments with our senses, like smelling and uh, taste. Um, <coughs> We call our project Mintegration. Mint is the German abbreviation for STEM. And then, of course, there is integration, so getting them, getting students into the society. We also have interpreters for the language, not only for the translation, but also for interpreting the different cultural backgrounds. So it's not only that, that we want them to learn our perspective, but we also want to include the perspectives of the refugee kids into our work. Um, so, what comes out? We were invited back. The students complain. They say, oh, please, when is the next week what we can do with you? Um, what is the next topic which we, which we will uh, target? Uh, okay. we, ta uh, we taught at least 40 classes with 700 refugee students in East Germany. And East Germany, for the Germans, it's more vivid. It's not an easy an easy way to go. There is more xenophobic than maybe in other regions. Uh, we also uh, taught in refugee classes on Zamos, which is a very crucial area. And um, we had classes with Roma in Bucharest, so we also went there, and in a refugee center in Germany. We were visiting science fairs. We are presenting our work at the Bürgerfest des Bundespräsidenten here in Berlin, but also we make summer science camp with a mixture of German and refugee students. You can see by feedback here, it's not easy to read because this is maybe one of the first uh, writings. What was positive on the week, which we made in a... Uh, in a refugee camp in Germany, where it was after weeks, the first educational activity for the students who stayed there for a month. And or for at least for a week, you can see nice people and very positive uh, feedback. And we also ask about negative feedback. And there was one quotation, I can't remember what was negative in this week. So, I mean, this is a very good feedback, which we got. Of course, we do some research, but I don't want to bother you with research results. As I'm a professor, of course, we do a lot of uh, data mining and uh, papers out of that. And uh, the top picture shows um, students on Zamos, where they got a, where they got a diploma <coughs> for, for the joining this week. Yeah, so the conclusions uh, are it was much easier, as supposed, to teach these classes. They are motivated, they are highly engaged, they are very well, at, uh, very well behaved, there are no discipline problems. Uh, when we get now into mixed classes where our German and refugee students are together, the German students are the problem, not the refugee students. The teachers are, of course, appreciating the support, and the relation between the local student and the refugees is much more positive than sometimes media say. I would like to finish with a quotation of a 70-year-old boy. I'm now in Germany since seven months. However, this is the first time I really feel learning something important, and my time is not wasted. Thank you very much.